Today we will be uh, starting our module 3 on uh, neural control. Uh, we have already finished uh, two modules that, uh, that are neural networks and fuzzy logic. We gave some preliminary understanding about uh, neural networks as well as fuzzy logic. So, we would uh, now go deeper into control aspect. Before I go deeper into control aspect using neural network, what I would like to do is that I will give you a overview of this field and in particular uh, relevant uh, citations of uh, works that are done in neural control important works. So, this is a complete overview of neural controller. I would not say it is an exhaustive review, it is not, but suddenly it would help you before we go in depth, because also I, I will not be able to cover each and every aspects of neural, com neural control. So, whatever I will cover today, I will select few of them and discuss in this course, correct. Particularly, I will be surely discussing the first part which what I am trying to say here adaptive control paradigms, direct adaptive control and indirect adaptive control using neural network. These two I will surely cover okay. and other methods that I will be describing it all depends which, uh, which one is more interesting for me to teach you. Okay. Uh, Nonlinear systems, uh, we will uh, classify them according to the way the controller uh, has been, neural controller has been designed, various neural network models, other neural control architectures and summary. So, direct adaptive control, you see that in this uh, what we do normally in direct adaptive control, given a plant and a controller, controller has certain parameters and the parameters of the controller are directly updated using the error signal here E c that is between the plant output and the output of a model, a reference model or it, if it is not reference model, it can be also the desired trajectory. Okay. So, the plant output has to follow some command signal y d or it has to follow some output uh, reference model, uh, the output given by a reference model given a command signal r here. So, the error generated here is used to directly tune the controller parameters. In such a way, the overall system dynamics is stable. Okay. So, the parameters of controller are directly adjusted to reduce some norm of the output error and this is called adaptive control, direct adaptive control. So, here we do not do any kind of identification of plant parameters directly. some important works on direct adaptive control using neural network. See direct adaptive control is there in the literature for a long time, but we are only concerned about neural network based direct adaptive control. Uh, the first important paper that appeared for direct adaptive control using neural network was by Sanner and Slotin in IEEE transaction neural network in 1992, uh, the Gaussian networks for direct adaptive control. And then the uh, <coughs> direct adaptive control uh, paper is multi layered discrete time neural net controller with guaranteed performance. This is Jagannathan and Lewis in IEEE transaction neural network 1996. Uh, another paper direct adaptive neural network control for unknown nonlinear systems and its application by Noriega and Wang in IEEE transaction neural network January 1998. Uh, here they considered a non-affine system 
and apply it to the control uh, controller to a fluid flow system. Uh, similarly, robust neural network control of rigid link electrically driven robots by Kwan, Lewis and Dawson was appeared in IEEE transaction neural network in 1998. Control of a non-holonomic mobile robot using neural networks by Fierro Lewis in IEEE transaction neural network 1998. Robust backstepping control of induction motors using neural networks this is by Kwan and Lewis uh, in IEEE transaction neural network uh, September 2000. Control of class of nonlinear discrete time systems using multilayer neural networks by Jagannathan IEEE transaction neural network 2001. Here system nonlinearities do not satisfy the matching conditions. Adaptive output feedback control of uncertain nonlinear systems using single hidden layer neural networks by Naira, Hovakimia, Flavio Nardi and A. Kalise and Nakawa Kim in IEEE transaction neural network 2002. And this the application examples were Vanderpool oscillator as well as R50 helicopter. The, the novelty here is that dynamics and dimension of regulated system may be unknown, but the relative degree of regulated output must be known. With this assumption, uh, this uh, controller was designed. Uh, neural network control of non affine nonlinear system with zero dynamics by state and output feedback by Gay, Zhang in IEEE transaction neural network 2003. They applied this to a temperature control of a thermal reactor. Similarly, direct adaptive control. Uh, stable adaptive neural con neuro control of nonlinear discrete time systems by Zhu and Go in tran uh, IEEE transaction uh, neural network 2004. They applied their uh, controller to non affine discrete time system. They used a recurrent neural network. Network weight update is derived from Lyapunov analysis. Connection between weight convergence and reconstruction error of the network is established and they applied the controller to liquid level, liquid level system and Van der Poel oscillator. Uh, this is another paper on direct adaptive control, a stable NN based observer with application to flexible joint manipulator by uh, Abdullah, Abdullahi Talevi and R V Patel in IEEE transaction neural network 2006, a very recent paper. Uh, they also uh, designed their control for non affine system. You must know the direct adaptive control design for affine system is easy, uh, relatively easy and is very difficult for non affine system. So, an, an observer that uses nonlinear in parameters uh, neural network, no strictly uh, positive SPR assumption imposed, a Lyapunov stability analysis. Uh, they use the Lyapunov stability analysis for validating their controller. Uh, then this is a, a direct adaptive control. Now, we will be talking about indirect adaptive control. In indirect adaptive controller given a plant we immediately identify the plant model and we use the plant model to tune the controller parameters. Okay. So, so the controller parameters are tuned uh, by uh, E C here as well as the P dot the controller parameters that are updated is a function of E C uh, as well as the, the model parameters of the system you know, identified model parameters. So, the parameters of the plant are first estimated and the controller is designed assuming that estimated plant parameters represent two pl true plant parameters. Indirect adaptive control involves explicit system identification. This is very important. It involves explicit system identification. This is indirect adaptive control. So, some of the very uh, interesting papers on indirect adaptive control is 
iterative inversion of neural network and its application to adaptive control by Haskins, Wang and Wagner in IEEE Transaction Neural Network 92, indirect control of class of nonlinear dynamic system by Mistry, Chang and Nair IEEE Transaction Neural Network 96. Uh, on adaptive trajectory tracking of robot manipulator using inversion of its neural emulator, Behera, Gopal and Choudhury in IEEE Transaction Neural Network 1996. This is our work. Indirect adaptive control by a parallel dynamic neural network by Wu and Posniak, IEEE Proceedings on Control Theory and Application 1999. Adaptive inverse control of linear and nonlinear systems using dynamic neural networks by plate, IEEE Transaction Neural Network, March 2003. Uh, query based model learning uh, and stable tracking of a robot arm using radial basis function network uh, is, uh, is by Behra. This is my work, Computers and Electrical Engineering 2003. So, nonlinear systems we will define some important classes, affine system, strict feedback form, singularly, singularly perturbed form, non-affine system, interconnected system. Uh, normally, uh, the way we assume the model of the system, that makes the system, uh, the, based on that the controllers are normally uh, designed. So, normally as I said earlier, the affine system the design of controller is a little relatively easy, where non-affine system it is difficult. Okay. So, in interconnected system, we represent a non-affine or affine system around a nominal plant, whereas the nonlinear terms are represented as a separate term in interconnected system. So, let us first go to the affine system. A very uh, simple, uh, we will be in this course actually I will uh, focus a lot on affine system, at least uh, two classes I will take, two uh, classes I will take on affine system. So, the, the, the normal structure of an affine system is x dot equal to f x plus g x u and here the conditions are that either f x and g x are unknown and the other condition is the f x is unknown and g x is known. Okay. So, normally when g x is known and f x is unknown, this control system design is very easy, which we will show in this course, but when both are unknown it is very difficult even for a fine system to design controller. Okay. So, neural networks can be used under following two classes, either f is unknown g is known f and g are unknown. I can show you a simple way how to design the controller using feedback linearization and how neural networks are used here. If I define E equal to x t minus x and E dot is minus x t dot uh, minus x dot and x dot is f minus g u. Choosing a controller u equal to 1 upon g minus f plus x t dot plus k e. Uh, the closure of dynamics is E dot plus K E equal to f hat minus f f tilde. So, if I know f then this is 0 then this is a stable dynamics. So, normally f is not known and hence f hat is the estimate using neural network. Now, the objective of a neural network control direct adaptive control using affine system is how do I update the weights of this neural network such that my closed loop system is stable. So, controller is the same u equal to 1 upon g minus f hat plus x t dot plus k e structure is same only thing is that how do I find the weight update law for f hat such that the closed loop system is stable. So, neural network weight update law is chosen to keep the weights bounded uh, uh, um, to keep to keep uh, to to uh, chosen not to keep the weights bounded to make the system Lyapunov stable. So affine system some important works. 
um, is uh, identification and control of dynamical systems using neural network Narendra and Parsarathy uh, uh, neural network IEEE transaction neural network in 1990 adaptive control of a class of nonlinear discrete time system using neural network by chain and Khalil automatic control IEEE automatic control 95 a neural approach of for control of nonlinear systems with feedback and linearization uh, hey Reif and Unvihaven and IEEE transaction neural network 98 an adaptive tracking controller using neural network for a class of nonlinear system Jiong Wu and Palaniswami transaction neural network 98. So, that is uh, a specific affine system. Now, this is another kind of affine system which we call strict feedback form. So, consider the system in the following form we will also have uh, one class uh, one I will also take one example on this I uh, will take one class on strict feedback form because very interesting. So, x 1 dot is f 1 x 1 this is all you can think these are all uh, 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 each 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 uh, equation is a scalar differential equation and we have m um, differential equation, but they can also be each one can be also a vector differential equation it is it is all right, but <coughs> let us think that they are all scalar equations. So, x 1 dot is f 1 x 1 plus g 1 x 1 x 2 x 2 dot is f 2 x 1 x 2 g 2 x 1 x 2 x 3 and so on until x m dot is f m x 1 x 2 until x m and g m x 1 x 2 x m u. So, g's are functions the g 1 is function of x 1 g 2 is function of x 1 x 2 and so on until g m is function of x 1 x 2 until x m and similarly f 1 f i is f 1 is function of x i x 1 f 2 is function of x 1 x 2 and so on. So, if I can represent my system okay, in this form this is called strict feedback form. So, what is the advantage in this the we use backstepping idea if it is in a strict feedback form then backstepping uh, principle can be used to design controller. So, what we do here we assume this x 2 should follow a trajectory called x 2 d in such a way that x 1 will track x 1 d. So, we deal with each individual subsystems individual differential equation separately. So, what we do here we say x 2 is tracking x 2 d following if x 2 follows x 2 d then x 1 follows x 1 d the first one. So, the like second one if x 3 follows x 3 d then x 2 tracks x 2 d and so on. Now, finally, choose u such that x m tracks x m d and this is the way steps where uh, by the, the steps pure backstepping controller are designed when we know all these functions exactly f 1, f 2, f 3, f m and g 1, g 2, g 3, g m, but when these f s are not known f i s are not known okay, f i s are not known then f i s are approximated using neural network and then the neural network controller objective would be that how do I design or find the weight of that rule for these uh, neural networks because you see that there has to be m neural networks to predict this functions f 1 to f m. So, the weight update loss for these m neural networks have to be devised in such a way the closed loop error dynamics for this system can be stable. So, some of the relevant work is robust backstepping control of nonlinear systems using neural network 1 and Lewis IEEE transaction systems man cybernetic part A 2000 stable neural controller design for unknown nonlinear system using backstepping Zhang, Peng and Jiang IEEE transaction neural network adaptive observer backstepping control using neural networks by Jean and Farrell IEEE transaction neural network 2001 nonlinear adaptive flight control using backstepping and neural networks control Lee and Kame journal of guidance control and dynamics 2001 
Adaptive backstepping control using recurrent neural networks for linear induction motor drive, Lean, Y, Chow and Shu, IEEE Transaction Industrial Electronics 2002. Okay. So, that is about a fine systems. Now, we will go to singularly part of the model. A large class of nonlinear system can be described by the equation x 1 dot is f 1 x u and if silent x 2 dot is f 2 1 x 1 plus f 2 2 x 1 x 2 plus g 2 x 1 u. Here if I say if silent is much much less than 1 then this system of equation they represent something interesting that is the dynamics of x 2 are much faster than that of x 1. Okay. So, that is there is a slow subsystem as well as first subsystem. So, this is my first subsystem, this is my slow subsystem. So, we can do decomposition. So, slow and first system decomposition are done by x 1 is x 1 bar x 1 tilde and x 2 is x 2 bar x 2 tilde u is u bar plus u tilde. The control inputs for fast and slow subsystems are designed independently of each other. Okay. So, for x 2 I design separately, for x 1 I design separately. Singular perturbation, I will also take one class on singular perturbation. Singular perturbation methods in control analysis and design by Koktovik, Riley and Khalil 1986. Adaptive neural network controller designed for flexible joint robots using singular perturbation technique J gay and postal white transaction of the institute of measurement and control 95 neural network controller for flexible link robots sl direct van der Grift and lewis journal of intelligent robotic systems 1996 singular perturbation and time scales and guidance and control of aerospace systems as survey shivarama naidu and anthony kalise journal of guidance control and dynamics 2001 Global exponential stability of competitive neural networks with different time scales, Mayor, Bayeser, Fillusion, and Chen, IEEE Transaction Neural Network 2003. So, once said about affine systems, now we will go to non affine systems, where x dot is written it as a function, combined function of x and u. You cannot separate and between states and control. Control and states are not at all separated okay. and y is a nonlinear function of x and u combinedly or x dot is f x plus g x and u. Again here the dynamics is complete combination of x and u, u and x are not separable. This is called non affine system. Some of the important works in this are control of nonlinear dynamical systems using neural networks, controllability and stabilization, uh, Levin and Narendra transaction neural network 1993, control of nonlinear dynamical systems using neural networks part 2, observability identification and control Levin and Narendra, adaptive control using neural networks and approximate models Narendra and Mukhopadhyay transaction neural network 97. Direct adaptive control of non affine system using multilayer neural networks, Zhang, Gay, and Hang, uh, Proceedings American Control Conference, June 1998. A new method for control of discrete nonlinear dynamical system using neural networks by Aditona, Garcia, Kiel, Transaction Neural Network, 2000. So, these are the papers on non affine systems. Uh, further, more systems are also here. Adaptive control of non affine nonlinear systems using Neural networks Gay, Lee, and Wang, IEEE Symposium on New Intelligent Control 2000, a neural network based approximation method for discrete time nonlinear servo mechanism problem by Wang and Wang, IEEE Transaction Neural Network 2001, robust adaptive control of non affine nonlinear plants with small input signal changes by, uh, uh, by Sathanathan uh, and Kiel, uh, IEEE Transaction. Uh, neural network 2004, direct adaptive controller for non affine nonlinear systems using self structuring neural networks, Zhang Hu, Sung Ho, Xiong Huan, Sham Jun, and Guita by in IEEE transaction neural network March 2005, 
observer based direct adaptive fuzzy neural control for non affine nonlinear system by Liu Wang and Li IEEE transaction July 2005. So, now we come to a, another class of non affine system which we can say interconnected system where an interconnected system of n subsystem is represented as x i dot individual states is a i x i plus b i u i plus d i plus summation of f i j t x a j equal to 1 to n and y i is h i transpose x i where i is for where for i th subsystem x i is the state vector okay? and this is a state vector x i u i is the control variable y is the output d i is the disturbance vector and f i j here contains the nonlinearities of the i th subsystem and nonlinear interaction with the other subsystems. The constant matrices a i, b i and h i are unknown constant matrices and nonlinear terms f i j are assumed to satisfy some bound. Okay. That means, this has a lower bound given by a i j norm x j. The control objective is to design local controllers, so that individual systems track the output of the corresponding reference model. Okay. So, this is my reference model. Because of presence of interacting functions f i j, the overall system becomes nonlinear and difficult to control. So, again you know that we can use robust control theory for solving the problem for interconnected system. Uh, in, in, in fuzzy control theory T s fuzzy model, uh, we will represent the system dynamics like a interconnected system. Uh, we will show that in uh, later in this course. Interconnected system, stability analysis of interconnected system by Huang and Xiao. Uh, indirect adaptive control of interconnected system by Oshman, uh, automatic control 89, decentralized adaptive control of interconnected system P Peter Ayanu, uh, automatic control uh, 86, decentralized sliding mode for adaptive controller design based on fuzzy neural network for interconnected un uncertain nonlinear system by Da, IEEE transaction neural network 2000. Nonlinear adaptive control of interconnected system using neural networks, Wang, Tan, and Li, uh, IEEE transaction neural network, 2006. Okay. Given that, now we will go to uh, neural network models. Uh, how how we have already uh, talked about this uh, while teaching neural networks because we did we always you know describing neural network we always talked about system identification using neural network. But this is just an overall view that how we can uh, use neural network models for function approximation, feed forward networks, multi layer network, radial basis function network, recurrent network, Hopfield network, memory neural network, dynamic neural network, then CMAC, hmm, cerebral model articulation controller self organizing map. So, feed forward network, the multi layer network, one or more hidden layers, activation function uh, is a smooth uh, function, it has to be a smooth. So, what you are seeing is that this is our, we have already discussed that, I will not discuss in details about it. You have many layers, these are all hidden layer, this is my output, this is my input okay. and the activation function for each. Uh, computational unit is as it can be a sigmoidal function for multi layer network most widely used in neurocontrollers uh, output neurons may be linear is made linear for sake of advantage radial basis functions a single hidden layer like here we have a single hidden layer activation uh, uh, function forms a cluster in the input space and Gaussian or thin plate uh, the, the activation function here can be a Gaussian or thin plate spline function. There are many other function also quadratic inverse quadratic and so forth. 
and uh, the output is always linear. This we have already discussed what is a radial basis function network in the neural network class. Now, feed forward neural networks some important works are multi layered feed forward networks are universal approximator by Hornick, Stitchcombe and White neural networks 1989. Neural network control of robot manipulators uh, by Lewis IEEE intelligent systems June 1996. Neural network control of robot manipulators and nonlinear system uh, Lewis and Jagannathan and uh, SL Dirac this is a book by Taylor and Francis in 1999. Output feedback control of nonlinear system using RVF neural networks, Sasagiri and Khalil, IEEE transaction neural network, January 2000. Adaptive output feedback control of uncertain MIMO systems, multi input, multi output system using single hidden layer neural networks by Hova Kimian and Kalise, American Control Conference 2002. Similarly, uh, uh, recurrent just like feed forward networks have been used in control. Similarly, recurrent networks also have been used in control. Full feedback connection, learning algorithms are normally BPTT and RTL. This you see that each uh, neuron the outputs are fed back to each neuron. So, output y you see that y 1 t 1 with a delay it is all fed back to the same neuron. Okay. So, all the outputs are connected to the each neuron, then it is called fully connected neuron and the learning algorithm for such a recurrent network is back propagation through time and real time recurrent learning algorithm. Uh, the always the problem with the recurrent network is that computational complexity because lot of connections are there. Whereas, uh, if I take partially or locally recurrent network which you see here. So, this is my computational unit and locally it has a memory, this has a memory here, memory here, these kind of things, but the connection is feed forward you see the there is no connection from this to this and from this uh, to this. So, the, the, the layer wise connection is feed forward, but locally each computational unit is recurrent in character. So, this is called locally recurrent globally feed forward network. This is normally also say is said as a memory neural network. This reduces computational complexity. Uh, important works are neural control of nonlinear dynamical system with Kalman filter trained recurrent networks Puskorius and Feldkamp 1995 in IEEE transaction neural network. Memory neural network for identification and control of dynamical systems Sastri Santaram and Oni Krishnan, IEEE transaction neural network uh, 94. Back propagation through adjoints for adge identification of nonlinear dynamical system using recurrent neural models by Srinivasan, Prashad and Rao. This is an IEEE transaction uh, 1994. Diagonal recurrent neural network for dynamic system and control by Ku and Lee in IEEE transaction neural network. 95 modeling identification and stable adaptive control of continuous time nonlinear dynamical system using neural network by Polycarpu and Ayanu American Control Conference 1992. So, these are some of the uh, uh, examples that I gave for recurrent neural network. Now, dynamic neural network is also another uh, new, uh, rec uh, recurrent neural network. Uh, the structure can be a little different where you see that uh, the, 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 the uh, this is a single neuron you can easily see that this is a single neuron and the output of this single neuron is a differential equation given by x i dot is d i x i you see that d i x i here plus this is all the weights uh, a i j and uh, phi x j is the output of these units and input is x 1 x n and so forth and finally, b i into u and uh, where d i is less than 0 and phi x this phi x is actually it can be any kind of uh, uh, um, activation function, but normally it is bipolar 
activation function. So, dynamic neural networks, dynamic neural control for induction motor by Vridis and uh, Kulaski, uh, IEEE transaction neural network 1999. Input output linearization using dynamic recurrent neural network, Delgado, Kambapati and Warwick, mathematics and computer in simulation, uh, Elsevier published by Elsevier August 1996. Dynamic recurrent neural network for system identification and control. Uh, IWE proceedings control theory and application 1995. Nonlinear adaptive trajectory tracking using dynamic neural network by Hoshniak and Sanchez, Paris, IEEE transaction neural network November 1999. Adaptive control of nonlinear plants using dynamic neural networks by Rovithakis and Christodol, IEEE transaction systems men cybernetics 1994. So, these are some of the works on dynamic neural network. Now, we will go to another category of networks that also approximates the nonlinear functions. This is called CMAC and there are a lot of applications on CMAC for control which is cerebral model articulation control. You can easily see that here <coughs> this is my input vector. This is called a, a possible a long memory virtual memory and this is called working memory. And you, you see that there is a mapping from this virtual memory to this working memory. Okay. It is a perceptron like associative memory with overlapping receptive field that is capable of learning multidimensional nonlinear functions. C max represent nonlinear function y equal to f x using the two primary mapping. So, from x to a that is the mapping s from x to a this one where x is a continuous s dimensional input space, a is the association space and y is one dimensional output space. So, normally this mapping from a to y is a, a linear mapping. Okay. Um, so, this is a schematic of a cerebral model articulation controller architecture. Uh, this was in fact, this model was, was uh, proposed by Alvers in way back in 70s and then Miller and his group, they did a lot of work on CMAC based control. So, some of the works that you can easily see that here, a new approach to manipulator control uh, by Alvers in 75 journal of dynamical systems measurement and control. Uh, discrete time CMAC neural network control of feedback linearizable nonlinear systems under a persistence of excitation by Jagannathan IEEE transaction neural network 1999. CMAC neural networks for control of nonlinear dynamical systems structure stability and passivity by Kamari and Lewis Automatica April 1997. CMAC based adaptive self uh, adaptive critique self learning control by lean keem IEEE transaction neural network September 1991. An adaptive control system design using memory based learning system Hiroshima, Iguni, Adachi, International General of Control 97. Theory and development of higher order CMAC neural networks Lane, Handelman, Gulf and IEEE control system magazine 1992. So, I am sorry that in this list uh, the works of Miller and co who were pioneer in the work of CMAC based control are missing. Uh, self organizing map, you see in self organizing map uh, this is another uh, network by which also we can develop neural model of dynamical systems. Uh, here again we can do any kind of approximation of non, uh, any kind of uh, approximation uh, sorry approximation of uh, any nonlinear function. So, self organizing map is characterized by a formation of a topographic map of input pattern in which the spatial location of neurons in the lattice are indicative of statistical features contained in the input pattern. Uh, the normal approach is competitive learning a continuous input space of activation pattern is mapped into a discrete output space of neuron Gaussian activation function. Uh, 
in self organizing map what we normally do is that uh, given an input space we create a cluster of the input that means if I look at the data in the input space they can be infinite through clustering what I am saying is that I am trying to represent this input data using very few number of representatives and for each representative I create a cell and within cell I define a linear relationship between input output a linear relationship between from input to output is established for each discrete cell. So, you can think that these are all each discrete cell that so although my input data dimension is infinite I have finite cells to represent this data and within each cell I establish a linear relationship like if I say my output is y and input is x. So, around some x naught I establish a relationship a uh, x minus w. w is associated reference vector with each discrete cell, x is my new input, a is my Jacobian matrix, x naught is uh, sorry this is not x naught, this is actually y naught, y naught is the associated output given an input x uh, x naught. So, y naught is actually corresponding to some x naught. So, you can easily see this is a Taylor series expansion there may be other methods. So, use any kind of linear approximation scheme from input to output to describe a relation between from this within the discrete cell. And then we have a mechanism how to express the overall response using the individual responses and one of the very interesting feature in self organizing map is that the neighborhood concept neighborhood concept. So, the some of the works are in some implementation of self organizing neural networks for visual motor control of an industrial robot Walter Sultan IEEE transaction neural network 93 modeling and inverse controller design for an unmanned air vehicle based on self organizing map Cho Principe Edogmus motor IEEE transaction March 2006. Local dynamic modeling with self organizing map an application to nonlinear system identification <laughs> in control by Principe Ludong and motor proceeding IEEE November 1998 a hybrid neural control scheme for visual motor coordination this is our work IEEE control system magazine. Multiple model based flight control design Thumpy, Principe, Motor, Cho and LAN IEEE symposium on circuits and system 2003 and the self organizing map that is a nice book by Conan proceeding uh, book also is there, but this is a paper on proceedings IEEE 1990. In fact, in self organizing map, I will take two classes. I will show that how we can do visual motor coordination using self organizing map uh, in this course. Neural control architectures. So, given the all the background uh, that I talked about, we have already discussed what is adaptive control and indirect, direct adaptive control and indirect adaptive control. And besides the direct adaptive control, indirect, indirect adaptive control, we can have also other control architectures. These are some of the things, although direct adaptive control and indirect adaptive control using neural network has been very popular, uh, does not mean that other controls are not popular. There are 
uh, here are the schemes which are model reference control, internal model based control, predictive control. Uh, this particular adaptive critic based control is becoming very popular nowadays. There are a lot of work uh, currently researchers are doing on adaptive critic based control because in this the optimality, the concept of optimality in control design using neural network has been uh, introduced. So, model reference control we talked about. Uh, so, here you have a plant, you have a controller and a controller desired a command signal comes from a model and uh, this is a command goes to the model. The plant output is compared with the uh, uh, model output, reference output and then the controller parameters are updated. So, desired performance of closed loop system is specified through a stable reference model M. The control system attempts to make the plant output y p match the reference model output y r asymptotically. Controller is the inverse plant model in a sense. Uh, internal model based control you see this is a plant, this is my model. So, m is the represents the neural network that identifies the plant model, c is the neural network controller and f is the linear filter for robust robustness okay, or for signal conditioning you can say. This kind of structure is normally uh, known as uh, the implementation of uh, internal model control is limited to open loop stable system. Okay. So, here the c is derived from m. Neural networks for nonlinear internal model control by Hunt and uh, Barbaro I double E process control theory and application 91. Uh, these are some of the works. An approximate internal model based neural control for unknown nonlinear discrete processes Lee and Hua IEEE TNN transaction neural network 2006. Nonlinear control structure based on embedded neural system model light body and Irwin IEEE transaction neural network 1997. Nonlinear internal model control using neural networks application to processes with delay and design issues, rivals and portioners IEEE transaction neural network 2000. Now, we go to the predictive control. In predictive control a NN model M provides the prediction of the future plant response over specified horizon. The optimizer computes the control U which minimizes following cost function. So, what we do is that in predictive control given the model, model predicts given a sequence of u. So, what we do is that uh, we first mo identify m for the plant and then we utilize c and m in conjunction in a way that we try to uh, tell this controller to create a sequence of control input and m would predict what should be the output in such a way that this y m should follow actual plant output, the commanded output. So, and that way we learn, we create a predictive control uh, assuming that what should be my the control action such that my model actually follows, the model would respond to the desired predicted value. So, the, uh, so so, this is what we said the optimizer computes the control u which minimizes the following cost function. You see that this is my uh, plant output and this is my uh, the model output and this is my controller actual uh, and uh, this is uh, the, the, the previous instant control action and present instance control action this is kind of a parameter lambda j subject to constraint of the plant model. Another NN model C may be used to mimic the action of the optimizer thereby obviating the need of a separate optimizer routine once training is complete. So, this is our uh, final uh, class of controller that I will be describing today uh, adaptive critic based control. Optimality is introduced in non controller a uh, non linear control. Okay. We know that optimality can be uh, for linear systems how to design optimal controller. In adaptive critic based control 
the prime principle is that the, the, the innovation is that optimality is introduced in nonlinear control using neural network. It incorporates reinforcement learning and dynamic programming. Adaptive critic utilizes an approximation of the optimal value function to accomplish its control design. Approximate dynamic programming where and, and that is why this is known as approximate dynamic programming. Dynamic programming means uh, that is known in the literature dynamic programming means to design optimal controller and neural network based optimal controller in the present context they are normally known as approximate dynamic programming. An approximate dynamic programming structure consists of following main components actor, critic, plant model and training loop for both actor and critic. Okay. So, this is your adaptive critic based controller. You see the schematic of critic based controller is that you have a plant actor means actually a controller you have a critic 1, critic 2. Eh? So, what all these things are uh, what, what all these things are doing here I have written here both actor and critic are represented by some n n models actor, critic 1, critic 2 they are all neural network modules. And then critic approximates the cost to go value function cost to go or value function j t and j t plus 1 from the state information x t and x t plus 1. So, what does it mean given x t and x t plus 1 given x t and x t plus 1 uh, the critic has to evaluate what should be the uh, a, a kind of an uh, optimal trajectory along which the plant should travel. So, that our cost to cost function is minimized. Up actor approximates the control action based on critic feedback. The training is based on Bellman's recursion formula given by this is my uh, cost function that is updated j t is u t plus gamma j t plus 1. Actor weights are updated so as to minimize the present value function j t. Critic weights are updated so that the Mm, cost function represents the actual cost to do cost to go function j t. Okay. So, this is adaptive critic based control design which you saw here. Uh, this particular scheme at the moment uh, is gaining momentum because it is interesting to see if we can design optimal controllers for nonlinear systems as well because you see that the the usual Bellman Jacobi uh, formula for uh, uh, to apply for nonlinear system and derive control law is very very difficult okay so that is why uh, researchers are trying to find out simpler methods by which they can introduce optimality in control okay so in this following important works are adaptive Critic design by Prokhorov and Wunz, IEEE Transaction Neural Network, 97. Dynamic reoptimization of fed wedge formator using adaptive critic design by IR and Wunz, IEEE Transaction Neural Network, 2001. Comparison of heuristic dynamic programming and dual heuristic programming adaptive critic for neuro control of a turbo generator by Binayag Murthy, Harley, and Wunz, IEEE Transaction Neural Network, 2002. Implementation of adaptive critic based neurocontroller for turbo generator in a multi machine power system by Vinayak Murthy, Harley and Wunz IEEE Transaction Neural Network 2003. Jagannathan and Salon IEEE Transaction Neural Network March 2004. So, that uh, gives you an overall idea about where we stand as far as neural control is concerned. So, to uh, tell you uh, final concluding comments what we discuss is that we discussed in intelligent control framework in neural and control framework what are direct and adaptive control schemes that is direct and indirect adaptive control schemes we gave the references we classified the nonlinear systems and for each categories we showed what are the relevant works that have been done in the net literature we also provided some neural network models that have been used popular neural network models that have been used in 
control literature. We also gave a overview of uh, some of the control neural uh, besides direct and indirect adaptive control schemes. Uh, uh, the other neural control architectures and in which in specifically adaptive dynamic programming is becoming very popular and uh, with all these schemes were uh, detail will give it, were given were presented with the detailed literature survey. I hope this lecture should help you to go deeper into the subject called neural control. Thank you.